Hi, this is Allison Kerr with Beauty Launchpad. I'm here with Carol Pertet of Wella Professional. Carol, why is an AHA award so important to our industry? It is hugely important to be part of, uh, of this competition. This is where the industry comes together, and then this is how you get your work out there as a creative artist, so it's super important. And does Wella or Sebastian have nominees tonight? We actually have quite a few. We, uh, we did for the second year sponsored some of our team members and we have five finalists this year. So we're very excited about it. My name is Robert Quinn. I'm from uh, Fulton Salon and our category is Salon Design. My name is Margaret Quinn and we work at the same salon. So it's we're partners in crime in this, in, in this deal. We put this salon together. What is what unusual about our entry is salon design usually comes with a package of great interior designers and great architects that really put it all together. And for us, we did this at the kitchen table ourselves, both my wife and I, so we didn't really have any tremendous help from the outside. It was being in the industry for 35 years, knowing what we like and how this should look and how we should feel when we work in it. What we want as a hairdresser ourselves that's what made it all come together. We sat down, we got a contractor that was willing to work without any plans. It's a little crazy, but did it. And it was, I think, came out just fantastic. It's probably why we're here tonight, right? Hello, everyone. I'm Gino Chapman. I am nominated for Contemporary Classics category this year. My name is Lupi Voss, and I'm his colorist. What prompted you to enter the Naha competition? Oh, like everyone else. Everyone wants to, you know, have some fun, show off some beautiful work and, um, you know, and be out here with all the rest of the beautiful artists out here. So, yeah. It's great to enter these awards and show your work and share the love and inspire the rest of our industry. It's fun. Hi, I'm Jorge Bucio and I am uh, nominated for Naha Men's uh, Hairstylist of the Year. And this is my best friend, Paolo. Paolo Bassani is supporting my best friend, George. You have to bring your best people. Demetrius Silmas had a speech where he said, if anybody out there ever wants to do this, it, it's not a long, I didn't start lo that long ago. He had just, you know, he started, his first Naha had not been too long ago. He said, and look at me now, I'm like master stylist last year. So when he said that, I'm like, I'm like, why not? Like, so that's what, that's what made it. That, that, that inspired me to do it this year. Hi, my name is Paul Pereira, and I'm up for Men's Hairstyles of the Year. What advice would you give to other stylists looking to get a NAHA nomination? Um, that's a tough question. <laughs> uh, I think just have fun with it, be creative, uh, do something you're passionate about. I think that really comes across when people are looking at your work. Um, you know, just sit down, map it out, what kind of, what kind of story you're gonna do, uh, get some really good hot models to help you sell that image and uh, just have fun and, and don't be scared to just you know submit it. I know it's always hard to submit our work and be criticized on it so just don't be afraid. I'm Lise Espinoza and I'm um, nominated in editorial this year. What prompted you to enter the Naha competition? You know Naha is extremely stimulating. We enter because it challenges us, it stimulates us and we do a lot of work that we may not have done otherwise, right? It gives us a really a reason to do all that highly creative work. Hi, I'm Shirley Gordon for, and I am up for the classic category. <laughs> what advice would you give to other professionals looking to enter the Naha competition? The advice I would give to anybody that's looking to enter Naha would be to find a great team. So you want to make sure you have an amazing makeup artist, an amazing photographer, an amazing wardrobe stylist, and a lot of energy, and you want to make sure that you take the time out and really storyboard your entries. Hi, I'm Matthew Tilsley from Louisville, Kentucky. I'm nominated for Men's Hair Styles of the Year. What prompted you to enter the Naha competition? Um, it's something I've always wanted to do since beauty school. It is the premier um, photo competition in the U.S. and it's something I've always wanted to do. The best of the best do it. And um, here I am. So it's incredible. A testament to hard work, dedication and passion. My name is Steven Robertson and I'm nominated for the Hairstylist of the Year category. And this is my partner, Matthew, who is my fashion stylist for the category. He doesn't speak. <laughs> what advice would you give to other stylists looking to enter the Naha competition? You know, I think doing photo shoots, it takes time to kind of hone in your skills and hone in, the, in your style of just hairdressing in general. And I've been entering for six or so years and, and finally snagged a nomination on my own. And I think you need to kind of stay relentless at, at doing that. You need to submit one year if it doesn't go the way you want it to you need to submit again the next year and it, and it takes a couple years to kind of to get your your style out there
My name is Anthony Cress and I'm nominated for Hairstyles of the Year. What advice would you give to other stylists looking to enter the Naha competition? The um, best advice I could give is just remember that we're doing this for our passion and our love for what we do, for our craft and our art form, and to not get too caught up in in the awards and the acclimates, and just, you know, just keep pushing forward, and it's, it's about the creative journey and what you get out of the journey, not so much the destination. Hi, I'm Michael Haas. I'm at uh, the category of Contemporary Classics. So, Michael, what prompted you to enter the Naha competition? You no, know, I was just asked that question, and... Um, you know, it's, I have to. I, I did competition very early in my years, and uh, it's time to come back. I was invited by Wella to you know, compete this time as well, and um, it's exciting. It's, uh, it's something that keeps me growing, and you have to kind of see where you're at. You know, um, age really isn't a number, it's just a, a matter of fact. So it's time to grow up and go to the top. Hi, I'm Morel Koken from the Harlot Salon in Venice, California. And what category are you nominated for? I'm nominated for the men's. This was a completely casual relation because it was meant for my mentees at the salon because I wanted them to like really get in touch with like getting photo shoots and like getting warmed up for it. So it just happened to be that popular and that good. So Nick says, you know, Nick Rorty says, why don't you give me one more model and we can throw it into the Naha category. And that's how it went. It was like totally authentic and Fun, yeah. My name is Jiva Poulos and I've been nominated as a finalist for Texture. What prompted you to enter the Nahas this year? You know, I've been working uh, as a stylist for a long time and I work for Sebastian Professional and it was my company that asked me, you should do it, you, should be, you would be good at Texture and I was inspired by Texture so I thought that why not, first time, first competition. My name is Alina Friesen and I'm nominated for Hair Colorist of the Year for the Naha 2014. What advice would you give to other colorists or stylists looking to enter the Naha competition? I would say to just go for it. Um, start, start with the most creative idea and build from that. Um, don't stop, just keep going. And over time, after you start putting your collection together, all of a sudden, magic happens. <laughs> it's kind of like that for me. So I would say just go for it. I'm Jalen Walker, and I'm here for a newcomer. So as a newcomer, what advice would you give to others aspiring to one day enter the Naha competition? To one day enter, just go for it, do it, absolutely. Don't be nervous. <laughs> and what prompted you to enter? Um, actually, I work for Michael Williams Salon Group and he is incremental and in pushing his stylist forward. So definitely uh, him pushing me, that was the best part. Hi, I'm China Wong, we're from Salon Spa W and we are nominated for the MBA category. What prompted you to enter the competition? Sure, I came to Naha my first year after graduating from school. I was just blown away uh, by the experience. Uh, saw people that I looked up to, mentors of mine, win the competition. Uh, we've competed every year since then, and eight years later, here we are with our first nomination. So, excited to be here. And what advice would you give to others looking to get a Naha nomination in the future? I'd say don't give up. I think it's a long process. I think you see your work develop uh, year after year, your skills develop year after year, and uh, you know you learn more along the way. And it does take time, but um, we're living proof that that you, anybody can do it. We're from Des Moines, Iowa, so you know anyone that's talented across the country, you can you can do this. Okay, my name is David Barron. I've been nominated for Hairstylist of the Year. What advice would you give to other stylists looking to one day enter the Naha competition? Um, get a story book together and plan it out and put it to reality and you know what just be focused and don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. I'm Carly Throgmorton and I'm nominated in the newcomer category. What prompted you to enter the competition? Um, ever since I learned about the competition it has been a huge dream of mine and I just have been so inspired by the other nominees throughout the years that it was definitely something I knew I wanted to do. My name is Susan Healy and we're with HC Studio for Salon Design from Boston, Massachusetts. And I'm Tracy Mouse Skents in the Interior Designer of HC Studio and uh, for Salon Design. What prompted you to enter the Naha competition? Well, we um, were excited at the transformation of the salon and we went through a whole year of planning and decided we have to get it out there and let's enter.